All right. So I basically wanted to make this video in helping you guys to have still have a DLP rear projector or LCD rear projector um, TV screen. So this is a Mitsubishi 7 series. This is how you would fix the picture not being centered on the screen for 7 series, 8 series, and I believe the 6 series all are relatively the same, but the code that I'm giving you today is only for the 7 series. Uh, you will need to find and look up the service menu code for either the 8 or the 6 series, depending on what you're um, working on. Uh, this is, to be exact, I got it in my phone, to be exact, this is the WD-60738 TV. So it's a 60 inch DOP rear projector, six segment, uh, color wheel, I think it's 2x speed or something like that. Um, rear projector TV. And it's one of my favorite TVs. Um, but let me get to the point. So if you look in Picture Plus, it's not going to be there. If you look in 3D mode, shut up! It's not going to. Oh, hold on, wait. Advanced, it's also not going to be there. You can also take these settings. These are settings that I found best. Shut your mouth! Don't make me come in there. Uh, you can take these settings because they were probably the best settings that I found um, and probably the best settings to you too. Um, anyway, so what you're going to want to press when you're in the service menu is 2457. I mean, the main. Come on. Uh, let's go fresh in there. 2457. There we go. So this TV, it says service TV manual or menu. Uh, HV position, pretty much, um, is going to be your position. So if you want to press the play button, play, and then you can press arrow, and it will give you screens like this that you can go by. You can also do color correction in here, too. Um, so we got to go to, uh, you can use this one. Um, I was using this uh, this one, but either or is fine. Let's go back to this one because it's a little bit better to identify the colors uh, and how much space is between them. So I don't know if you can see this on your screen, but right here you have a little sliver of uh, white and down here you have a little sliver of white. Um, what else is there? Oh, and this is called overscan alignment, by the way. Um, so, basically, before I did this, my TV was pretty much like that, okay? And so you, you just gotta adjust it until you pretty much feel it's lined up. This is all gonna be by human eye. So I, I figured 12 was the best. Um, and then five was the best there. And how you do that is up and down is vertical or horizontal. Vertical is up and down on your arrows and then horizontal is left and right arrows. And then to save it, to hard save it, because you can press menu and it won't save, you have to press enter and it will glow red and then menu will bring you back to this. Now if we go back in there, uh, there's other things, do not touch any of this. Please do not touch any one of these options. They are, especially DBK, I don't know if it was offered with the 7 Series, but I do know people reporting issues that their picture is never the same when they switch it to 1 to 0. This is basically to improve blacks, I believe, but um, people said once you do this, your picture is never the same. Um, so I, I don't even know if my TV supports that. I just refuse to uh, mess with that. Um, and then your other with like GRW, that's like white balance and uh, gray and then uh, blue, blue and the whites or something. Um, and then all that can be, you know, calibrated in like a white screen like this. Um, I'm not touching any of that because I feel my whites are fine. And plus my uh, tuning on this is also done with the preset parameters in that service menu. Uh, there's also another menu that is probably not that important to you guys. Um, I forget the code for it now. Hold on, I think this might be a 2479. Nope. 2579. 
Oh, now I know what it was. It was 2570. Nope, it's 2470. 2470. There we go. This is your other menu that you can access. Uh, they call it like service menu 2, I guess. Um, so that combination for this TV, so the 7 series, is 2470. Um, you have to press menu before you enter in any of the keys. Uh, so if you're not getting into the menu with uh, the code that you just punched in, you have to exit out of your menu, press menu, nothing else, and press the code. Um, so this gives me my total lamp hours, uh, power restore, you know, production mode and whatnot. I choose not to touch any of this either, um, and just left that how it is. Um, yeah, that's pretty much for that. Some people like to upgrade firmware and whatnot, so this tells you your software and whatnot. Um, now I was seeing if I could get a different display up there. Um, yeah, pretty much. I have not owned this TV for 17,000 hours. I did not put on maybe 154 hours. So someone before me definitely put a lot of hours on this TV. Uh, I just replaced the lamp and called it mine. Um, but I really do like my real projector TV. Um, I have an LCD. I have a local backlight dimming LCD with 54, I think, local backlight arrays or something like that. I prefer real projector over any day. And I prefer a uh, projector over any day, which I will have a projector coming on my channel soon, along with a sound bar, along with many other gadgets, because that's the project I'm working on right now. I'm working on an 80 inch projector in my room, but this is my living room TV, and I, I won't ever choose a LCD, maybe OLED, but I still like my real projectors. There's just something about them. Um, if you are looking to buy a real projector TV for whatever reason, um, if you are susceptible to the rainbow effect, which is basically rainbows happening when you uh, move your eyes quickly across this side of the screen to this side, and um, this is the thing that I was poking at my bird to keep him quiet. Um, basically, if you twitch your eyes from one side of the screen to the next, you will see it breaks down the image because you're pretty much uh, breaking down the colors of the color wheel. Um, even today, projectors still have that if you buy a DLP projector. So I recommend if you are susceptible to seeing rainbows, buy an LCD projector or uh, LCD on silicon uh, projector, which are a lot better because LCD has their downfall of screen door effect, which is the one that I bought because I'd rather have that than the rainbow effect, even though I don't really see it on this TV. Um, it's, it's a mental thing. You really have to train your brain. Uh, well, it's mental. It's all mental, but it's not so much training. First, you got to accept the fact that you can see rainbows. Then you got to not care to see the rainbows. And then you got to learn how to um, train your mind into looking at the picture and knowing what causes the rainbows. And basically, look at it as a way to not see the rainbows. It, it's... It's more of a mental, you you also, the more you watch one of these TVs, it goes away and whatnot. But that's the thing of a past because they don't even make these things anymore. I'm done.